Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Heroes of the Storm. I'm Carl London and today we're going to be playing as Zul. He's uh, Zul. He's been out for uh, quite some time. Um, probably, uh, what, like maybe a month at this point right now. Um, I think he's the one just before Dahaka. I could be wrong, but I could. I don't remember off the top of my head right now. Anyway, I haven't played him too much. I've played him a little bit. He's only a level 6 in my hero collection. Um, but I figured I uh, would give him a shot. I've played, I've had a, quite a few games in quick match, so um, we'll see how it goes. I, I feel pretty confident with him. Uh, let's go over his abilities real quick. Obviously, if you're not interested in the abilities, description or guide, uh, click in the bottom right-hand corner, and you should be able to skip straight to the gameplay. So, our Q ability is Spectral Scythe. Now, what the, or Sith, sorry. What this is going to do, this is going to summon um, an, an, a Sith at a destination, at a location. Now, the, what's interesting about this Q, this ability, I should say, is that it doesn't do damage on the way out. It actually damages damage on the way back. So if you target a location, it's going to basically uh, create the Sith at that target location, and it's going to come back towards you. Now, keep in mind, this is interesting, because even though, let's say, if you're standing in a certain place, certain place and you hit it straight up, let's say if you hit the Scythe, the Sith straight north. If you move to the right or to the left, the Sith is actually going to come back to where you are, not to where you were. So you also you want to use that to make sure you have to understand that to know how you're going to use this Sith to be able to do some damage, whether it's uh, you know at a diagonal angle, so you're walking away from people and you and you want to put the Sith between you and the person you're trying to attack. Curse strikes. Now this is an activated ability. Now keep in mind it doesn't actually work as soon as you activate it. It works when you attack while it's activated so it's uh i'm, I'm trying i'm blanking on there there's other people that have the similar activity oh think artenis artenis is uh his w ability i believe his uh, twin strikes or whatever it is you can activate it but it doesn't actually work until you actually initiate an attack so this is the same principle you activate it and what it does is that once you've activated as soon as it's triggered i.e triggered i.e being it when you do an attack uh you're gonna all your basic attacks is is gonna do an area of effect uh attack it's also going to decrease the speed of heroes um, by 40%, and this lasts uh, for four seconds once it's triggered. So uh, it's an incredibly powerful mechanism to uh, to clear out minion waves, obviously. Uh, Bone Prism, this is kind of like your CC. Uh, one thing that sucks about it, it does have a two-second delay, and it has a huge icon. Like, everybody knows that Bone Prism hasn't been activated. So if you're like a Tassadar who has the Prescience, or not so Prescience, that's his one of his talents. If you have like dimensional shift or like Murky's bubble, you can uh, activate your ability and actually make it so that the bone prison doesn't uh, affect you. But what it does is that after a two second delay, it does damage and roots you in, in where exactly where you are for two seconds. So it's a very great way to kind of kind of root down a hero, uh, whether it's a healer or support, you know, somebody you're trying to kill a squishy character. Uh, but like I said, if you have the uh, talents that can uh, um, get you out of it immediately, then you probably don't want to be targeting them. Uh, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Ray Skeleton, that's our trait. It's a passive ability. It's not something you have to activate. Whenever a minion near you dies, it becomes a skeletal warrior that attacks for 30 damage and lasts up to 15 seconds. You can only have up to four warriors at one, at once at one time. So every time a minion dies, you're going to summon a skeleton. These skeletons are going to stick around you or stick in the lane, and they're going to attack anything that's in their area. You can you could later make it so that you have more warriors. You can make it so that the warriors heal you. There's other activities you can do. Uh, but this is a pretty cool trait. Again, a huge pushing mechanism uh, if you're trying to clear waves. Uh, Poison Nova Skeleton Mages, both are very, very good ultimates. I would say 50-50% um, out in, uh, you know, Hero League. Um, Poison Nova, it basically after a short delay, you're going to release missiles in all directions that do a ton of damage, um, but it's over time. So obviously, keep that in mind. But it does, it is a relatively deceptively high amount of damage. Uh, so you just, it's, it's nice to be in the middle of things. And obviously, Zul is a melee character, so you're probably going to be in the middle of things when you use it. Skeletal Mages, this is a more of a slow effect. Basically, you summon four mages in a straight line. They attack nearby enemies for 47 damage a second, and it slows them by 30% for two seconds. This mage, uh, these Skeletal Mages last up to 15 seconds. So, again, if you want to slow people and you just want to, uh, and there, it's a lot of, you know, characters on the screen, it's kind of confu confusing, convoluted, uh, it's also a great mechanism. But, you know, I think they both have their places. Anyway, let's dive right in and uh, see how Zul does in the battlefield. Alright, welcome to Tomb of the Spider Queen. That's Queen. Queen. 
Um, can we talk about this enemy composition? I am so screwed. Everybody can dive on me. Chen can dive. Illidan can dive. Lunara can hit me from far away. Zul can lock me down. Lily can blind me. This is going to be a, a fun, uh, a fun game. So uh, let's see. let's see how we go. Um, do we want to go? So usually the two choices I usually go with are shade or backlash. If I'm going to be in the middle of things, um, I usually go with backlash just to be able to do some more damage. They do have a Chen, but nobody else that's really tanky. Uh, so I'm going to go with uh, shade, which is going to make it so that for three seconds uh, the enemy will miss all their attack basic attacks. Uh, but it does increase the cooldown on our bone armor uh, by 10 seconds. All right, so, all right, great. And we have Lunara, which is not exactly ideal, but <clears throat> we have an Abathur on our... Oh, we have an Abathur too. All right, this is going to be fun. This is totally going to be fun. All right, we're going to do this. We got this. And I'm already dying from poison. Oh, crap. That was not good, what I just saw there. Where is everybody? All right, so there... All right, there's two up here, and Zul. Yeah, I can't really do anything here. With Lunara up here, this is going to be trouble. I'm just going to sit here and try and clear as much as I can. And uh, make sure I don't overextend and pick up the uh, the spider gems uh, whenever I can. Alright, so it looks like... Dude, do you not realize there is a freaking... Alright, I'm just going to back up here. Looks like Lunara wants to chase me. All right, we do have Abathur's top hats, and we do have our um, crap, 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 crap. Oh, okay. Phew. This is going to be uh, very, very scary because, unfortunately, like I said, it's going to be one of those situations where I can't really do too much, and uh, I could have followed up there, but I was afraid of Lunara, so. All right, so all right, we're in we're in control. We're in control. We got this. We got this. So we have only six. We have 16 seconds on my cooldown. I have totally overextended. Why am I getting stuck there? That's just. I was so indecisive. There is Lenar gonna follow me. Oh, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Taranda. Can I get a heal? Thank you. All right, so that was. I'm gonna call that. that I was a total baiting, uh, total bait uh, system right there. Okay, I probably have to be very careful because oh, you know what, Lenar is probably. Oh crap. Unfortunately, until until we get uh, to the next level, all right. I'm just gonna have to heal back and come back. Until we get the race where our race skeletons start healing us, there's really not much we can do with uh, uh, with sustain at, at this point. All right, we do have six, so we just have to be careful. We don't want to lose those six uh, gems. All right, so we are gonna make it so that oh, gems. Uh. We are gonna go. All right, we got her. You got her, stitches. You got her, stitches. You got her. There you go. It's the way it goes. All right, so I am actually wasting my time not even picking a talent. All right, so oh, we need to walk. We need to walk back. We need to walk back. I'm just gonna. St no, no, that's all right. No, that's the wrong guy to do it on, but that's all right. Oh no, oh no, I'm just walking back. I'm minding my own business. Can I get some health and mana? All right, so are we, so as you can see, I can, my, my curse strikes is kind of set up where it won't actually activate until I actually do my first attack, which is kind of cool, right? Because, you know, it does it means that, no, no overextended. I got greed on those gem, those gems. Uh, just be careful. Thank you, healer. All right. Uh, am I being exposed? No, 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 no. I'm gonna use my... Okay, thank you, Tass. Alright, I got some, I got, we got two healers, I forgot. Alright, so... Just wanna make sure nobody's here. Eldin is uh, here, and looks like the enemy team has turned in. Oop. We've got... Gonna tell the team we want to defend. We don't want them to get free turn-ins. All right, let's see if we can get a kill. Nope, nope. All right, I'm gonna turn in while the enemy team is distracted. Oh, Lily's coming in for the blinds, <clears throat> but she has overextended. All right, now I'm definitely gonna be able to turn in. There's gonna be no problem. No one's gonna bug us. Yeah. 
I have unfortunately no more mana, so there's not much I can do. I'm probably going to have to heal up, uh, go back after this. All right, so let's uh, let's pick up these gems and and yeah. All right, I see you. Li I don't know. Lily went down to the middle. Okay, so actually the health cup is up. Health cup. All right, so there you go. Rasmus blessing. This is going to make it so that when we kill uh, minions, we are going to raise skeletons. And when these obviously were well, that was always the case. All right, we should be able to get you. Oh, come on. Should have chased. Should have chased. Right. There you go. Nice stun. Oh, come on. And I had my... Uh, uh, good job. Good job. The uh, Taronda's uh, Flare or whatever, Loon, whatever you want to call it. Let's, uh, let's get some skeletons up so they can heal me and tank for me at the same time. So this is where we become very powerful. Obviously, we have no mana, so we just have to be careful. And this uh, looks like this wave up here has been pushing very strongly because uh, you can tell... By the fact that these things have been completed. Oh, I need to back up. I don't want to be the only person here, although we do have Tascar, but I have no mana, so we just have to be careful. Alright, we're going to have the Spider Queen pushing for us, very queen, uh, very soon, I should say. Okay, so I am actually out of mana, and that was the other option, is that uh, there was a situation, so at this level, I went with Jailers, um, which basically means that whenever I cast Bone Prison, Skeleton Warriors will actually get raised. Um, what I should have gone with is, uh, my other option that I typically go with is Tragul's Essence, where basically my Raised Skeleton also restores mana, and that's sometimes actually a better situation if you feel like you're running out of mana a lot. Alright, alright, so we're doing okay. Let's go down and join the team at the bottom here, and make a push. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we weren't able to help. Uh, we were just a little too late on the uh, on the bone prison, but that's all right. We have uh, vision of everything. We have nobody coming in. Oh, Lunara is coming in. Oh, I got. Oh, I messed that one up pretty badly, but that's all right. <clears throat> all right. So we have uh, we have successfully pushed the uh, the uh, incur insurgents out. So let's uh, let's go back up and uh, soak. At this point, it's just soak, soak, soak. Oh, actually, the red team managed to turn in. Oh crap. I'm just going to sit back here, and hopefully somebody will come in, and... Alright, we're just going to sit here and uh, hit, hopefully be able to grab Lunara. I'm going to... Nope. Unfortunately that didn't work, it looks like the whole enemy team is up here. We're going to go with Poison Nova, we're going to hit that as soon as we can, we're going to pop our... Uh, we're going to use our scythe, we're going to... Who are going to... No, that's the wrong person to... Ooh, we got we got saved there. We got saved there. All right, Illidan should go down with the help. No, really? No, 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 Illidan dying. All right, Illidan did go end up dying. Um, we should be able to take this out, no problem. I am actually going to go down here and start dealing with this push down here since there's. And we should be able to get skeletons up as soon as we get the skeletons up. We should be able to heal back up almost to full health. Uh, which is the nice thing about again. That's probably the most important tr talent uh, to be able to pick on the on what's his name uh, on uh, on Zul, I should say. All right, so we are see as you can see we're back to full health and we have our skeletal warriors pushing uh, the middle, which is kind of cool. And so now we're going to come down here and see how we can be able to capture somebody. Oh, just missed that, unfortunately. I was trying to see if I can. Uh, um, uh, uh, what's called stun uh, Lily, so that we can grab her. All right, we need to go back to soaking, and but I didn't realize it was just stitches there. I thought there was more of us there, so it's not a big deal. All right, so we're gonna just make sure that nobody hits our turrets or structures. I mean, and we are gonna go up top and just let them know we're going up top. All right, so so far so good. We are still ahead on XP, which is kind of cool, uh, but unfortunately we are losing a lot of. Uh, all of oh wow, these guys are out of man of turrets. Oh, yeah. these turrets are out of ammunition. I need to concentrate on my talking so I've noticed that a lot of times my gameplay actually is worse when I do do talking when I do talk so uh, just keep in mind so let's just put it this way if my gameplay is at a you know seven out of ten in the game then you know maybe add another one or two because um, that'll help 
um, because obviously, unfortunately, sometimes when I talk, I don't maybe pay attention to something that's going on the map or something that's going on at some you know certain area. So uh, looks like uh, I see three or four at the bottom. I see Illidan. Okay, so nobody's here. So I'm just gonna sit here and help push this uh, wave up here. We do have the spiders uh, working out with us. Um, the spider queen coming. So we've got. Looks like we have four. Are they gonna start coming up? Okay, I'm I'm actually being targeted here. So I just wanna I don't wanna be targeted here. All right, so we do have. Okay, I'm just gonna drop that on him and walk back. There's no reason to be involved in that. Um, although I do see two mem two members of the enemy team in the middle, but I'm gonna actually go down to the middle to help clear this wave up as well. We just want to make sure this thing doesn't push in more than it needs to. So look, like I said, so as you can see, he's got an incredible clearing uh, power, which is very nice. And I am actually out of mana again. Jesus, see, this is one of the reasons why I really like the other talent because it does help. Um, all right, so do we want to go with corpse explosion? Do we want to go with spectral sight slows? All right, we have no mana. Let's just go back and get mana. We, we, we're dealing with everything pretty well. Uh, increased critical strike, strike. Curse strike deals an additional two percent of maximum health as damage to heroes. No. Let's just ping that we need help. We need to get this. Um, I don't think I can clear it myself, especially if I don't have. And that's the thing that sucks is that we don't get raid. You don't get raised skeletons from these guys. You literally just get it from minions. Well, I'm not gonna get that by myself. It's not. I'm not gonna waste my time. Uh, if the team doesn't want help, then I'll just continue doing what I want to do over here. All right, are we gonna be able to kill Lily here? Wow, we did manage to kill Lily. Uh, obviously, we had the help of. All right, what are we doing here? We we need to do something. Let's just go with the. Uh, uh, which one did we go with? The, yeah, the, exp the, the the explode on death. It's just gonna make it so that uh, it's gonna do some damage, um, some some even more AOE damage. All right, I am so overextended. It's not even funny, but we have two. We have all two healers here, so we should be able to do some. All right, I'm okay. You can. I'm gonna have. My, uh, my, come on, my E ability, my W ability, I'm sure we can get some uh, raised skeletons up here. All right, we do have heals anyway, so it's not the end of the world. We did manage to kill two of the enemy team, and uh, we should be going, we should be able to kill this fort down here, no problem. Um, and then we should be able to get this down as well. With the help of all these uh, minions here. So, uh, all right, so we are just going to step back here, we're going to come back down here, help Stitches. All right, so, so far so good. We probably should get this camp. Somebody wants to help me get this camp? All right, Tyrande looks like it's gonna help us out. Awesome. We should be able to help her clear out no problem with Tyrande's help. And then with the help of the, this, uh, with my W uh, and Tyrande's heals, we should have no problems. All right, so it's good, 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 good. So far so good, we are two levels up, so as long as we maintain our, uh, our discipline and don't do anything stupid, and I tend to do a lot of stupid things, as long as we don't do something stupid, uh, we should be good. All right, let's go down. That's, I agree, that's a decent dis decision. Uh, let's go down and see what we can do here. No, stitches, back. I mean, if it's just against Zul, then you should be okay. All right, so we do have... Uh, uh, they do have three that need to turn in. So let's uh, see, what are they going to do? Are we pushing this fort down? Okay. All right, I'm going to choose the next talent, and that is going to be <clears throat> Amplified Damage. What this is going to do is that my Bone Prison is going to cause it so that the target of my Bone Damage is going to get uh, extra damage by, so like right there, and I'm just going to pop my Poison, drop my Mana. All right, so it looks like we, we did manage to kill a lot of people. I'm going to raise some Skeletons here to heal me, um, and we should be able to take down the enemy team, no problem. So that's the nice thing about poison damage is that it uh, it does and drop that on him so we can get the extra 20% damage. Come on guys, 20% damage. All right, all the minions, go minions, go minions. No, minions almost had him. Nice. I think that was Lunara, uh, not Lunara, uh, Tyrande. All right, or it might have been uh, actually uh, uh, Tacitus, uh, Sinek, uh Storm. All right, good job, good job. Great push here, great push here. We're doing awesome. I have been out of mana for the majority of this fight. Oh, I should have, uh, I should have stunned her. I should have CC'd her. That's all right. Let's get this tower and then get out of here. Uh, are we going to 
gonna be able to get this tower? No. Damn it. Damn it. We don't want to die, so it's not worth dying. Although we are four levels up, but the problem is I have no mana. Where, who, oh, Avatar. I was gonna say, don't we? Are we missing somebody? All right, let's just leave. I know, I know. We almost had that tower. Or did we get the tower? Oh, we actually did get the tower. All right, so I am going to go back. I have 12 gems. Um, looks like the top and the bottom. Oh, actually, we just picked this up. We should be fine. So, so far, so good. Um, uh, Stitches is agreeing with that. There's murder. Uh, let's just go top. I'm gonna clear out the top lane. Are we really going for a boss? We're making a power move. Nice. Ooh. She's dead. So with the hook there, she's dead. I mean, not the hook, but my, with my bone prism, she's screwed. She's totally screwed. All right, so now is the good time. We really get, should get the boss now. I mean, they're they're down three levels, um, and uh, I'm gonna pop my uh, bone armor there to make sure we don't get. And there's no way they're gonna be able to contest us. They're down three levels and they don't have their healer. So, nope, don't want to get stunned. Looks like Avatar wants to join in on the game. All right, so good job so far. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, I mean, you can't ask for a better game so far. This team has been uh, incredibly well. It looks like Lunar just sent her uh, vision up to the boss, but it was a little too late. We should be pushing with the boss. Uh, I guess, no, we should probably clear this. That's what's more important. Uh, all right, so let's go down and clear this, and then uh, go up and help the boss. We should uh, help. Afterwards. All right, we, have, we do have three people here. We're gonna see if we can. I was gonna say, where did he go? Oh, he got out. Of... Oh, that's what he did. It's like, where the hell did he go? All right, we need to get some skeletons. So let's just attack some people here. We're gonna pop our bone armor, and unfortunately, we have no more health. So hopefully, we don't. Uh... I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be so mad if we actually end up losing this fight. We and we might very well lose it because of the fact that. What am I? Why am I not attacking? Attack the four closest person to you. Alright, Zul did die, Tyrande, everybody's low on health, and I unfortunately have no more health. Um, mana. Oh, nice uh, stun there by Tyrande. Okay, out of mana. BRB. Alright, so, so far so good. Stitches is, is, is being a beast, and uh, we're getting, uh, we're doing well. I mean, obviously at this point, it's uh, pretty much, unless we do something stupid, this is pretty much... Uh, uh, a good game. We're gonna go with. <clears throat> so normally I go with Bone Spear. No, I'm gonna go with Bone Spear. Let's go, let's do that. Uh, although I, it would have been fun to have um, um, the R uh, being stronger, but uh, let's uh, let's go. Uh, all right. So where are we going? Are we going top? No. Where are we going? There you go, just stun him and he got the 25% increased death and Lily's dead. So she came in to try and help and unfortunately it was the death of her. Ooh, we can get uh, Lunara as well, that would be great, but unfortunately I have 25 gems. Alright, let's just finish this game, there's no reason. There's no reason to. I'm just gonna pop my Poison Nova, pop my R, pop my Bone Armor, pop my Scythe, and we should be able to. I'm gonna drop it so. No, no, don't die, don't die. Ooh, almost. Survives. I saved it, saved it. I don't know, we got heals, we got awesome heals. Alright, so this is a game, good game. So, Zul is, is a lot of fun. He's obviously got major, major pushing power. He can clear uh, games very well. Uh, games. He can clear lanes very well. Um, and obviously, with the right team composition, as you could tell there, we had a fantastic team composition. We can really murder uh, people, as Stitches said, uh, on the way to victory. Um, let's quickly look at the uh, stats. I mean, we normally when you play Zul, you're going to do a ton of siege damage and you're going to do a ton of XP. Um, or obviously, oh wow, I didn't realize we had nobody died on our team. I was almost the first casualty, which I would have sucked. And what's funny is that Abathur actually wasn't even involved in any of the games. So as a, in general, the four of us 
we're doing very well because I, you can tell he's only got seven. He was only involved in seven, but if you look at the rest of the team composition, 18, 19, 20, 19, we were pretty much together and, and involved in every single kill. He was obviously just pushing lanes and making it so that we maintain our XP advantage. So uh, usually with Ghoul, you're going to top siege damage. You're going to do very well on hero damage. And you're obviously going to, in general, be contributing a lot on XP just because of your ability to clear lanes so quickly. Uh, Talent-wise, um, this is almost pretty much my standard composition. The one that I would have changed maybe uh, would be... Um, would have been on, on level four because as you can tell we were always having mana problems so maybe having changing this to to, to the to the mana one where basically uh your race skeletons also generate mana and uh, not just uh, you know not, not just the health here at level seven uh probably would have given us a little bit more sustain in the field in terms of mana because uh, as you can tell we were always running out of mana uh but over other, overall this is pretty much my standard uh selection unless something you know dictates otherwise um, shade, I either go with shade or I go with the, uh, with the red one, which is basically where it explodes after, uh, three, or when it wears off, which is after three seconds. Uh, usually if I'm in the middle of th thick of things, which I was actually there a lot of times, I would pop that. But, but having the ability to evade all attacks for three seconds, basic attacks for three seconds is, is a very powerful tool. Um, especially if you have a team composition on the other side that has a lot of basic attack potential. Uh, Poison Nova turned out to be pretty well there. I think uh, the number of times where Poison Nova really did do a number on a lot of the enemy team, <clears throat> so I think it helped there. But I think that you could have gone, go, you could have gone, you go well with either of the cases. I don't think um, one is better than the other. I think they're both very viable. Uh, here is also another situation where you could probably do something else. Um, I obviously went with the more with the lane presence pushing potential, uh, but I feel like there's you could you could go with a couple other choices here. Uh, this one, um, probably the bet your best option if you really want to be team oriented is you know have this one. This is going to make it so that you take 25% increased damage for two seconds. For the person who's on, you've got your bone prison on them. Um, that's really good if you want to focus like a healer or a squishy character. Uh, you know you pretty much obliterate them from from the face of the of the map. And then bone spear. This is just another dof def offensive uh, ability. It is uh, an activated ability. So if you're not comfortable with using activated abilities, you probably don't want to use this since you already have a one, which is your bone armor. At this point, you would have two activated abilities, and if you're not comfortable with that, then you probably want to steer clear away from it. But it's got a 10-second cooldown, and it does 260 damage to enemies in the line. So it's a very, very offensive, very, very strong damage-dealing uh, talent. So anyway, that's Zul for you. He's been out for about a month. I do think that he would be a lot of fun if you want to try him out. He is characterized as a medium difficulty, but I think that under the right circumstances, you can be a very powerful person. All right, see you guys in the Nexus, and uh, see you guys soon.